Okay, we're here with Saad. Um, tell us what you think. Tell us where you are in your journey. So my journey is a little bit different. I am building a men's health optimization and longevity company. Now, what I'm trying to do is probably one of the most sophisticated and complex tasks because what we're fundamentally doing is we're re-engineering the way healthcare is delivered in this country, right? We mostly go to this position whenever we're sick. But the reality is that guys that are between 35 and 45, we don't get sick as much as we normally would if we were 55 or 60, but we want to engineer our lives a very specific way. And so there are tons of different ways through diet, exercise, supplementation, pharmaceutical means, technological means to extend your optimized life and your longevity, and no one knows about that. So what I realize is that this is such a sophisticated problem with so many layers of, first you have your psychology, your consumer psychology, then you have paying pro pay payment problems, then you have pharmaceutical problems, then you have medical interactions. And so I said to myself, where else should I come other than a blockchain conference to talk to people that are doing incredibly ambitious things that are very, very difficult in size and scope. Tell us a little bit more ab about that and, and what you're doing and maybe what you're looking for in the blockchain space, how that can relate. What I'm doing is, we'll, we'll call it, we're a, little, we're a little bit quiet about it, but we think it is one of the largest opportunities ever in men's health. Because historically, men have been ignored from a healthcare perspective because, I mean, guys are lazy. And here's the reality is that younger guys like us that stay on social media and we see people living these very happy lives, we know we can have that. And so we put more effort into our appearance and our our mental wellness and overall well-being. And in terms of what I'm looking for here is, you know, we're thinking of is there a capital raise in the future? We're also thinking about where can we start finding guys that are very passionate about this. Now the most interesting thing is, you talk to a 35 or 40 year old man, and you tell them what you're doing, they go, Jesus Christ, I've been, I've been thinking about this and I can talk to no one about this and I'm super interested. So any kind of advice, any kind of guidance, right, uh, developers and talent, all of those things we're looking for. Tell us where people can find out more about you. I, I don't know if you're, you're kind of in that zone yet or, or everything's sort of more under the radar. But if, if you, wanna, you want people to come and check out what you're doing and get engaged, where would they find you? They can find me uh, on Instagram at msaadalam. And that's M-S-A-A-D-A-L-A-M. But they can just go to our website, Keep Me Prime. Keep, keep me prime. Keep me prime. The name of the company is Prime because we extend men's prime. That is our mission or objective. And once again, that's keepmeprime.com. The most important thing, though, right, is that we're giving people confidence. And that's what this is all about: is making sure that men have confidence so they can be the best version of themselves to take care of the people they love. And that's what's exciting. I love it. So I appreciate it, man. I love it. Awesome, man. Good talking to you.